What is up guys? Welcome back to Steady Chaos Productions. I am your man Steady Chaos and so finally I am gonna get back to doing some single player let's plays. I have had Doom Eternal in my backlog for god knows how long. I've had this game in my backlog for at least a year now. I played the original Doom back in 2016 on the base PS4. I enjoyed that very much. And now, like I said, I have Doom Eternal, and now I'm playing on the PS4 Pro. So, without making you wait any further, let's jump right into this campaign. New slot. Now, I like a little bit of a stiff challenge, but I don't want to be fucking dying constantly. And I heard that ammunition in this game can be kind of rare, so or tough to come by. So, I'm not going to go, I'm too young to die, because that is too easy. Seems like Hurt Me Plenty is the default difficulty. Quick reflexes in combat and exploration throughout the levels are the keys to success in Doom Eternal. So, if you have good reflexes, yada yada yada. Ultra Violence is like one step above default, and Nightmare is here insane. So I'm just gonna do default difficulty, Hurt Me Plenty. I tried doing this uh, Doom Eternal Let's Play a few months back. And I did episode one, or part one, which was like a two-hour episode. And for whatever reason, the audio didn't work. It wasn't captured correctly, so I had to delete the whole video. And here I am, starting over a little while later. Against all the evil I think everything is set this time. We're good to go. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them. Only you. Rip and tear until it is done. So, the plot or storyline in this Doom game, I feel like is probably going to be like every other Doom game. There's a portal that somehow is opened, and Hell now has access to Earth, and it's trying to kill everyone and everything, right? That looks like basically what's happening here. <laughs> See, as you can see on the earth, the scourge of a hell is taking over. And of course, there's only one man that can stop the scourge of hell. That's me. <laughs> oh, the storyline is tried and true, isn't it? You would think at some point, Doom and Bethesda will try something new. But, alas, here we are. Pray that he is watching. Here we are. Attempting to acquire the hell priest signal. This is the one guy that can save humanity. percent of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the hell priest signal locked in. Target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. Who it is he that they fear? That's pretty cool. Or his army. The HDR looks nice. It's a very colorful, vibrant kind of palette. I'm running this currently in H gig. Nice. Yeah, I find this game is already bright enough in H gig that I don't really need dynamic tone mapping. Alright, well here we are. Let's quickly go to the... Alright, we are just gonna go with the default controls. Alright. Get out of here. Oh yeah, man, this game moves fast. I'm coming from playing The Last of Us Remastered online to this. Oh man, it's so like fast. When you damage a demon enough, it becomes staggered and begins to flash. When close, press the R3 to glory kill. Okay. I'm familiar with the controls, because like I said, I played the first Doom. And I started playing this game a few months back, like I said, and it didn't it didn't record the audio correctly, so we're gonna give it a second go here. But I remember the controls, they're pretty intuitive. Chainsaw. Press. 
right? So I have the chainsaw. Press square to instantly chainsaw demons. Okay. Ah! Pretty funny. I love the gore. It's so over the top and cartoony. I wish there was a sprint button, though. I find myself wanting to sprint. I guess you already moved kind of fast enough to begin with. Secret found. Oh. Come on now. There it is. <laughs> Just found me a doll. Excellent. Press X to jump into the air. Press X again while in the air to double jump. Got it. This is the weapon mod selection screen. Interact with a weapon bot and then unlock a mod for an available weapon. Press circle to continue. Sticky bombs are my weapon of choice, so I'm gonna go with that. Do you require some sort of currency to make these upgrades? I didn't notice. I just started playing. To activate a weapon mod, press and hold L2 and then press R2 to fire. Okay. Got it. Got it. You're dead. Oh! You like that? Ow. Oh boy. Got low ammo here. You know what that means. This gives you ammo when you chainsaw them. Shotgun shells. I think I gotta use these controls. Melee killing them gives you health. Chainsawing them gives you ammo. Oh, headshot. You need fuel for your chainsaw. Oh. Get out of here, bro. Controls are really fast. I gotta get used to this. Got some health. I miss any shoddy shells. I don't think I missed any shotgun shells. I may have to change the controller screen so that it's bumper jumper. I like jumping with the L1 button, but I figured I'd go default. We'll see how long I can last. Press this to view the codex inventory. Story of hell, combat shotgun, map. Okay. ripped his head off. Wow. Some crazy shit going on in hell, huh? I like how it knows how the demonic consumption has been reduced by 36 point whatever percent. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna, we don't have any new weapons, so we're gonna stick with the sticky bombs. What do you got here? 
The objective marker shows where your current objective is. It's present on the compass and the auto map. Press it down to show the objectives in the world. Okay. You're dead. Get out of here. the right way? Guess so. I don't want to fall down there. It seems like this is the only way I can go. Oh, shotgun shells. You're dead. Oh. <laughs> the aiming is pretty liberal, pretty friendly. Ooh, armor. Oh my god. Certain demons have weak points that can be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities, okay? Nothing over here? Alright. Get out of here. Uh oh. You want some? Want some? Still alive, I see, huh? Get out of here. You're done. Oh, where'd you come from? Getting low on ammo. There we go. So give me ammo. There we go. Below. Some armor. Oh. You're dead. Okay, the gate's open. Ooh, some fuel. Okay. What do we got now? Machine gun? Press R1 to quickly swap to your previous weapon. Hold R1 to activate the weapon wheel. Uh huh. Alright. Got it. Use. Finding an auto map station will reveal all undiscovered areas on the map. You can view the map in the map tab of the dossier. Okay. The green are undiscovered areas. Alright. I like how it's pretty clear where you have to go based on this green indicator. I'm not really a big fan of getting lost and having to run around and find my way and all this garbage. Alright, here we go. Boom! 
Oh! Oh! You're dead. Oh, not one of these things again. Give me some ammo, bitch. <laughs> oh. Please. Where'd it go? Really? Give me health. So low on health here. There we go. Right here. Still not quite used to the controls. Health? Thank you. You shouldn't have. Boom, you're dead. Like that. What do got here? Remaining human populations part two. Oh! Extra life! Like that. Hey, you want some? Did I miss anything else? This thing. How the hell do I get in there? That is the question, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, I gotta do something here. Settings. Audio, music volume, you're killing me, music. You just, you just, you're killing me. It's just a little too much. How do I get up there? Oh, I'll take it. Um, well, I don't know. Whatever. I'm not sure how to get up there. I'm not gonna waste my time. Ooh. What we got here? You want some? shot his legs right off. Alright, so clearly we want to go down this way. Shotgun shells. Slayer can attach to pitted walls by pressing R3. Okay. Nothing up there. Alright. Piece of cake. Alright then. Wow. You're dead. Look at this guy. Shotgun shells. Thank you. Let's open this up. Whoa.
You're dead. <laughs> Those executions are pretty cool. Ah! Precision bolt. Old Delta to bring up semi-automatic loader that fires high precision, high powered rounds. Micro missiles. Let's do with the let's go with the precision bolt. You can always change it, right? I think. If you don't like it, I'm not sure. I would assume you can change it. Thanks. Press L1 to launch grenade, which explodes after landing on the ground. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I remember these enemies from the first Doom. Uh-oh. Um, apparently I died. Get out of here, bitch. Ah! Yeah, dead. Here. Ammo, please. Seem to do a ton of damage. Here, have a grenade. You're done. Oh my god, another one? Are you serious? Where did it go? Well, I'm out of ammo. There you go. Oh shit, I missed. Here we go, here we go. Want some? <laughs> Armor. Machine gun bullets. Shall we? 
Oh, more, more bullets. I have no ammo. Oh, right here. There we go. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to experience. You're dead. Exactly. Oh. Well, there? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, the presentation's nice. The graphics are okay. I mean, the game is running at 60 frames per second, so you can't expect really good graphics. Oh my god. But yeah, they're good enough. The game is really fluid. There you go. As you would expect from a Doom game, right? You expect it to be fast. Kind of like Call of Duty. Ah, uh, yeah, bitch. What's going on back here? Secret? Oh, I picked something up. Armor? Yeah, I think I picked up armor. There you go. Have a grenade. <laughs> Shot that grenade right into his mouth. Nothing else? Alright. You're dead. You're dead. Get some health. Whoa! Boom! There you go. Oh, those executions are pretty satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Who else wants some? Wait. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. This is not good. Oh, I, uh, I'm getting knocked around here. Wow. They're just everywhere. Holy shit. Ah. Stop bum rushing. Yeah, how do you like me now? So I don't like this scoped weapon on this thing. I'm just not a fan. I feel like it lacks punch. Not as powerful as it should be. I have to use that extra life already. It's alright. We're still getting used to the mechanics. I mean, they're not too difficult. The control scheme is pretty familiar. But how fast and glidey it is is a bit of an adjustment period. Forget about the Oh. To suffer is to be present. Armor. Hey, wait a second. Ah. What's this? Secret found. Extra life, yes. Alright. 
There you go. Oh, triple kill. Out here. Guess not. Ow. Oh, ho, ho. Ow. This damn thing again? Needed that. See, this thing has no stopping power. Put it down. Just expect more stopping power. So I'd say so far it's been challenging enough. I will mark her location on your hut. Hasn't been particularly difficult, but it's also not a cakewalk. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Okay. Let's kill us some hell priests, shall we? Fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points in the map, use it to find additional items and complete additional encounters. Okay. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Okay. Kill him. Kill him. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate. It is. This stops nothing. The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non-believers, you will not save them from their judgment. Ah, bunch of pussies. You go too far this time. You cannot interfere. Yes. It's humanity's chance to repent, to give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. Excuse me? I enforce nothing on behalf of the Khan Maker. I will destroy the Khan Maker. Exploration. Exploration was pretty bad. Well, two out of three, four to six, one out of three, or a one. Not great. XP gain, 10,500. All right. Interesting. So that was level one, if you will. Second hell priest, your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. I 
completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Flame belch? The fuck? Press triangle to set enemies on fire and they will drop armor shards. Kill them and they'll drop the most armor. Uh, there you go. Okay. So it has to reload. It takes a period of time for it to refresh or whatever. Alright, so I have the grenade. I have the flame belch, and we are locked and loaded. What's this? This is a sentinel crystal selection screen. Use a sentinel crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacities. Quick draw belch. Flame belch takes less time to cool down. Napalm belch. Heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire. Wow. So it affects your health, armor, or ammo categories. Loot magnet. Resource drops get pulled in from much further away. That's kind of nice. Health for blood. Health. Max health. All health pickups contribute to blood punch. I don't know. I don't have blood punch. I don't know what that is. As long as you're at max armor, all armor pickups contribute to blood punch. So this is what I have to choose. Just do resource drops. Ammo upgraded. Health, armor, and ammo upgrades are immediately applied along with any unlocked bonus upgrades. Search the environment to locate more sentinel crystals and improve your capabilities. Okay. Is activated and ready where you are. Well, it is about 3.30 in the morning, so I think that's going to do it for this brief episode. I really just wanted to get an introduction going for my next Let's Play, which obviously at this point you know is Doom Eternal on the PS4 Pro. So this game... I've played a little bit before, like I said, so I knew what to expect going in, but even if you haven't, if you played the 2016 game a few years ago, then you know exactly what to expect going in. The controls are pretty much the same. The feel, the graphics, the enemies, they all feel pretty much the same. I'd say the only difference really is the manner in which you get health and ammo seems to be a little bit more on the rare side, so you get ammo with your ammo in particular, so yeah. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed brief uh, part one of Doom Eternal. Sure. There will certainly be more to come in the coming days. All right, guys, uh, certainly subscribe to the channel if you like this video, and please leave a like below and also leave a comment letting me know if you've already played this game or not. And guys, all right, and we will see you guys later.